Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create security groups as a combo box. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend security group, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available. Here you can see different types of playlist available with different task classes. Apart from this, you can see here Python related tips and editor related tips. And if you need any support, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And source code also available in the GitHub and we have some social media different pages you can also follow to get the latest notification. Let's back to our main topic like how to create a security group as a combo box. So let's say I'm going into the settings in the user and companies in the user profile and let me open this user profile last time we saw like how to extend multiple groups in a single group right the study student accounting you can see here right like if you tick this one automatically like the advanced sorry analytic account then after analytic accounting tags then after student profile automatically tick right i mean it's selected by default using this group like actually we are extending the multiple group in this single group so right now what we will do like we will do the same thing as this one you can see the cells here and we have these three groups right this is the lowest priority this is a mid, mid level priority and this is as the administrator so this group have a full access rights for the cells group right so we will do also the same thing here but only in our way all right so like this way if you want to add that is also possible so let me go to in auto training custom add-ons and here like school security and the security access data.xml file you can see here we created a multiple groups security roles access right and the ir module category right like let's say first i will try to create a three groups here so for that let me copy this three group name here and i will change the xml id student low level group so let's say low level group right and i will try to remove this category at the moment to understand more all right then after i will copy this id and i will pass here low level here like mid level and admin so admin level group and here you can see like mid level group right we created these three groups now let me upgrade the module and let's see what happen if we will upgrade this file i mean this module so for that like i will go to here in the editor and i'm trying to upgrade here in the pycharm only so while i'm start or restart the service it will automatically upgrade the module here and we don't need to go to here in the front end side go to apps find the application and then like need to upgrade right it will do the it will automatically done in the back end side so here you can see is other category security category created right automatically and now you can see like low level mid level and as admin level groups created right now we have to do one thing like we have to do something like this as a combo box right so for that like we have to create here one more security category the group category i mean here so here what i will do like i will do something like this my student category something like this and i will add name as a student only now i will copy this one and i will make sure to pass here category underscore id draft school dot and here the category we added here 
now i will try to upgrade the module don't worry about if you if you don't know what is this please check the previous discussion how to create security group category all right so let me upgrade the module trying to refresh the page and now you can see the student is here under the student you can see these three student groups available right now what i want to do is like under you can see uh, this is a sales category and this is also sales category but the parent is this one right so we have to also do one more thing let me add here a new category called sub and i will add here field name parent underscore id ref and here i will do something like this copy school dot this one and i will make sure to use this one here trying to upgrade the module and i'm trying to refresh the page right so you can you can see here it's it's still not converted into the combo box why let's see and might be you will you still confuse here the student and student name is here right so let me add here parent category and here like sub category something like this and let me try to upgrade the module Now you can see it under student subcategory, right? Now what I will do is like I will use here implied IDs. Field name implied underscore IDs. And here, like if you don't know like how to implement this one, please check also the previous discussion. I already updated here, like what is it and how we can implement, right? And then after we have to use here evolve. And here like I will use six comma and then after in a tuple I will use as a ref but not I'm using here I will use here and the name is this one now you can see this is the lowest one right then after this is the mid level access right and this is the admin level access right so here we will do one hierarchy so this is a low level access right this mid level access right belong like if we select this one so it means we have to inherit this group right and as a admin if we will select right so admin have this both group so it means if we will add hierarchy wise here so it will automatically create a one combo box so let me do one more thing like let me copy this one here school dot and then after the xml id name and then after here i will do the same thing only for this one the mid level so what it does the implies id is like it will inherit whatever the access rights or whatever the access rules you provided in this group it will automatically inherit here so you don't need to rewrite those codes whatever we provided here so same we also do here so this is actually a, this is a sub group this is a parent group of this group and this is a parent group of these two group why you can see here we added here the implied ids for this group then after this group we also use implied id for this group and this group don't have any implied id so whatever we added here the access rights it will belongs to this one automatically and whatever access rights access rules whatever we provided here it will automatically belongs to here and then we can also extend those access rights as well as the access rules here all right so here it will automatically create a one combo box so let me restart the service trying to refresh the page oops we have some error maybe Oh, 
index out of oh yeah sure I forgot here to add zero sorry this is my bad right and I'm trying to upgrade the module refresh the patch and now you can see here student parent category student subcategory and now you can see low level mid level and as admin level group right now forgot about the this one or the naming here so here you have to just understand this one so this is a parent category this is a subcategory of the group right and here we have actual group so it will automatically manage by Odoo we don't need to do anything here any extra widgets we don't need to use right and this is a simple called a combo box so let me add here one more security feature right to understand more so let's say here I will try to add three different kind of access right for this one I will use here school dot this one right then after let me copy the as a mid level and as a admin now you can see admin have a full access right right for this model then after as a mid level they can't delete the record and as a low level they can't write sorry they can't like you can see here based on the permissions we have to add here accordingly so this is third one is the unlink so i will make it as a zero then after they can't create they can only see the mid, low level group only can see the school profile then after the mid level they can read write and update but they can't delete right so for that one like i'm using as a zero and as an admin they can do everything all right and let me add here one more low level user mid level user and then admin level user so base low user mid user and admin user something like this and this is the model name right now let me also change this one otherwise it won't be work our so it won't be work our new group so as an internal user I'm accessing I'm, I don't have access for the internal user so right now I'm giving like this right don't worry about this one and let me upgrade the module all right so here you can see the access rights we didn't provide so here this is access rights here right and let me comment this one and let me uncomment this one plus as a priority i will add the xml file before the csv file and make sure it should be a comma and now I'm trying to upgrade the module so let's see here all right so it's successfully upgraded without any error and I'm trying to refresh the page and here you can see this is a demo user right so what I will do like let's say the I will add as a low level group for this for this group and I'm trying to log in as a mark demo here. Let me restart the service first. And I will try to go to here in the school. And now you can see here, you can't see the create 
then after you can't see here the delete button as well as the edit button right so this is simple read only access rights given to the mark demo but let's say i want to add a mark demo as a mid level so they can at least they can create at least they can write the or i mean the update the record set right so let me refresh now you can see the create button is visible then after the write button is also visible but you can see here still these users don't have a delete access right right and now let's say i'm giving the full access right as an admin so and i'm trying to refresh the page all right and now if i will click you can see the delete option also available so like this way the combo box is working something all right with different you different groups with different access rights you can also implement security uh, record rules based on the groups that is also fine right i hope you understood how to create a security group as a combo box and uh, parent child wise you can also display the group and in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and yes our next session would be like how to add groups especially in the menu level especially in the form level view level then after windows action level right so that is our next session so don't forgot to watch that also